Earlier on, Lauren Goodger, we were talking with you about, um, you know, things you discovered about yourself when, yeah. you know, been looking back through your childhood. And we just started to touch on relationships and how you would like to see things going and, and where they are now. Mm -hmm. At the moment, you're, you're dating Joey. Yeah. Joey Morrison. Um, mm -hmm. He's in prison. Mm -hmm. um, there's been talk in the papers about you're you're looking forward to starting a family this is something mm. that you've always made very very clear. clear yeah let me get this straight you've been dating him since he's been in prison mm -hmm. you haven't actually been intimate with him yet <laughs> there's, there's a there's a flaw, <laughs> there's a flaw in your plan <laughs> oh, um right yes it's Telephone very weird dating. <laughs> well sort of basically he had um a rottle which is released on temporary license okay so you're still kind of around the prison grounds but you do get a bit of freedom um, okay. And he did come out at some point when he had DCAT, which is now unfortunately lost. This this happens. He will get it back soon. Okay. Um, so it's more strict now. But at the time, there's been times where it hasn't been as strict. So okay. So we have had, had a long time. Moments together. But okay. Lauren, can well, I ask you how you met this guy? I mean, he's been in prison since 2009, is yes, that right? Yes, really weird, and everyone asks me this, and no one understands, and I completely get that. If I was you, looking at me, I think you're crazy, yeah. and I understand. <laughs> well, then, tell, <laughs> so, us, tell us. Basically, I, I knew of him years ago from around the area. Yeah. Everyone knows everyone in Essex. Um, and I know a lot of his friends. I know um, his brother's girlfriend. And one day I was at the brother's girlfriend's house, because she's my friend, and he rang the house phone. I ended up chatting to him. He was from like, prison. Been? From prison. He yeah. calls on a prison phone to the house phone. Okay. I ended up chatting to him. How you been? I haven't seen him for years. Last time I see you was yeah. West End, whatever. Um, and yeah, and I got talking to him for a little while. Then the phone went. Then he rang back again and was talking. And he said, to "Come and see me on a visit." So I did, and it was the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. I was so scared. <laughs> So like, where am I going? What's it like? The weirdest experience, but not as bad now as I thought it was going to be. It's just they're normal people, and um, but you get searched, and I mean, what's you the get procedure? Searched and you go in, and it's like you go get. I think I'm going getting on a flight. It's that kind of feeling, mm. you know. You search your bag yeah, and security, and security, and you have to take your shoes off and everything, and yeah. you're not allowed your phone. But I've fallen in love with someone by face value because normally if I meet a guy, you go out on a date, you drink. Yes. It takes a long yeah. time to get to know someone. Yeah. I've got to know him so well and he's got to know me because we sit and there's no mobile phones. We talk and we've got to know each other by face value and we respect each other and love each mm. other without doing anything and else. So How many years has the relationship been going on sort of behind bars? Oh, yeah. only um, about six months now. Six months, yeah. okay. And when, so. when you put it like that, that there's, there's, a, you know, there's almost an old-fashioned quality to it where yeah. you say, you know, they're on my phone. And you, but, but you are seeing a man who's in prison yep. for serious drug offences. Which I understand. Does, and people does that not me. frighten you at all? Or? It doesn't, because at first, I used to be like, oh, my God, that's so bad they've been in prison. Mm. But now I've completely opened my mind and I don't judge people by certain things in the past. No yeah. one's perfect, you know. And, no. and He's a good guy, regardless of what he's done and whatever. He mm. actually is very supportive of me. He's very kind. He compliments me. Oh, he's I'm encouraging. I'm going to be all grump at the end. Go on, you're all right. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm not judging, honestly. We've yeah. all got our own kind of path. But yeah. I kind of worry for you. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you've, you've been upset. You've had your ups and downs emotionally. Yeah. And you've had some not-so-good relationships. I know yes. you desperately want this happy ever after. Yes. I mean, you're going out on a limb with this guy, aren't yep. you? Let's be honest, you've not known him a long time. Yep. When he's in prison, he's living a very unreal life. Mm -hmm. The fact that this gorgeous girl mm. is, is paying attention to him when he's in this hellish place, mm. of course he's going to be nice and lovely yep. and write long letters. Yeah, I, I mean, get yeah. Do you think you're going to wait a while before you get on to babies and things? Maybe Definitely. when he's outside? And... Listen, I'm not naive. I'm, I'm quite a yeah. strong, close-up gal. Um, and... He doesn't need to be with me, and I don't need to be with him. You know, okay. he was talking. Other girls used to go and visit him every week. You know, and I'm right. I know that. And he doesn't need to settle down, but he chose to be with me and commit to me and say, right, I'm not, you know I'm coming out to you. But is he I'm in a there, position not... to do that? Is he in a position to commit to you when he's, he's not... not going to be out for two years? No, he's... he is. He's coming out very soon. He was meant to right. be out in November. Right. So it isn't going to be too long. But, I mean, in his head, is he in a position to commit to you? I think he's very strong-minded, and I don't yeah. think he's the type of person to kind of say to me, right, we're going to be together as a relationship. If it wasn't, I'm quite strong too. I don't have yeah. to be with him. 
you know, I do it out of choice, oh. but I'm not going to come out and get married and all that. It's going to, okay. it's the next chapter. We'll that will happen we'll when it's ready to be. Yeah. You said said you, sorry, you, you said that um, you'd love the idea of children. Yes. But first of all, you wanted to think about your career and setting yourself up. Has, yes. he, has he talked to you about how he's going to be able to change his life once he comes out and set himself up? Definitely. Ready in yeah. preparation for a relationship yeah. to make a stable background of for course. children. Yeah, he, he knows that he has to get a normal job as you like yeah. and kind of work his way up he's very intelligent he's done a lot of courses inside right um so has he got a trade to come out yeah he's got a lot of trades which he's done you mm. know the courses have been there such a long time um and i'm i do believe him and sure that he will come out and and kind of mm. get straight and sort himself out and support a family i do we get some pretty fabulous guests here on loose women there's plenty more where that came from just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces and click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to really.